Nu ska vi gå till en som har ganska många miljoner och har sålt närmare 70 miljoner album. Jag pratar om Robbie Williams och tidigare veckan så fick Maria Forsblom som enda svensk journalist möjligheten att träffa Robbie i London. Titta här. I'm 42 but I don't feel 42. That's good. My ambition doesn't feel 42. My ambition is still young and still greedy and still needs and um you know i want to carry on being successful i i i want the big hits i want to perform in stadiums that's what i want to do and it seems to be very important to me and my ego that uh, that <laughs> happens why uh, is that so important for you um well it, it's sort of like being a football team you know if i am manchester united and we win the premier league why would it be important to win the Premier League the next year? Mm. You know, they don't go, well, we won it last year, so only eight of us are going to turn up this year. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just, I think that's what, you know, being human has been built on going forward and achieving more. That's why we're all still alive today. But so when are you satisfied? Um, I don't know, I have to redefine success all the time, especially getting older and being an older pop star. Um, I will not know how to define my success till the albums come out, until I've done the stadium tour next year. And my ego will find a way of reasoning with uh, the success that I have, mm. whether it be huge or whether it be smaller than the album before. keeps you going on all the time? What makes you not want to take that break? Um, I think the knowledge that I need something to do, um, that became evident when I retired from the entertainment industry. What Plus, happens otherwise? Well, uh, my brain ceases to work and, um, you know, when there's no purpose, the depression sets in and uh, it's very difficult to get out of it. Um, this propels me forward, you know. I'm a dad now, and I'm a husband now. Mm. And um, I have to look after them, and um, that's what I'm doing, you know. Uh, I have centralized all of my efforts to propel me forward, mm. and my, um, my family helped me to do that. Is happiness something different today for you than it was when you started? I wasn't very happy when I started. Um, and now I am. So, yeah. Great! <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm way more happier, way more easy in my soul than I was at the start of this journey. But life is a roller coaster, uh, as the song says. Goes up, goes down. At the moment, I'm at the top, and who knows what happens tomorrow. What makes you feeling that you're on the top now? Um, I have the security of being in a fantastic relationship with a wonderful woman that makes me happy. And I've got two fantastic children that are, are giving me purpose. Mm. Do you feel that you have the time to be with them as well as doing your thing on stage and I, 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 and... I feel as though a lot of the time I, I have more time than other fathers mm. and then all of a sudden it's been three weeks and I haven't and I feel guilty and I've got to plan for that 
and work out how to manage that time. But when I'm not working, I'm not working for ages, you know, like normal dads get up, might, might see them for a round of toast and a coffee, then go to work and then if they're lucky, come back just before they go to bed. Mm. But when I'm not working, I'm not working, you know. Mm. It's uh, constant on the job, figuring out how to do this and everybody's defining and redefining how they parent. And uh, my life is no different to everybody else. I'm constantly redefining what it means, what I have to be. What What is important for you to be or have as a dad? Love, consistency. You know, um, I don't know if I'm managing that. I don't know if anybody does. Um, I've got love. Mm. I'm 10 out of 10 for that. Mm. Um, yeah, and to make a happy and safe home. So far, so good. Yeah, I think you're good at that. Yeah, it's it's happening. Mm. Great. Thank you very much. Cool. Really Thanks, cool. babe. Yeah. Thank you. Safe travels.